Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I made this shaker card with Poppy Stamps Grand Hourglass Die, Poppy Stamps Curved Banner Sash, and this memory box stamp set, Hope and Thanks. So here it is. I used prills in there. They are mini prills from USA. U.S. Art Quest. Alright, I'll get this moved over here. Big shot. I love this tool caddy. I love having my cutting plate back there. Sorry, I'll probably bump this several times, but sorry about that. Here I have taped the hourglass die to a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock. I'm going to die cut it, blades up at a little bit of an angle just so it goes through the rollers easily. Oops, didn't want that in there. So there we have it cut. Now I need to cut this shape in the foam. I have two layers of that craft foam stuff here that I cut four by five and a quarter. I'm going to lay that on there and trace in here so I know where to put the die to cut the foam. And this doesn't have to be perfectly exact because you could always trim the foam a little bit. So I'm not going to sweat it too much. Let's see if it cut all the way through. If it didn't cut all the way through, then I just cut it from the other side. Oh good, it did. Trash those, don't need that. Okay, so now, before I move that, I'm gonna die cut this banner in the front. And I'm gonna line that, see these little places right here? I'm gonna line those up with the sides of those hour, of that the hourglass. But I need that tape again. Come back here. Run it through. there. Oops, there I go again. I need to get a holder for my iPhone so I could use the iPhone for videos instead of this camera. Okay, so I'll get that out of here. Okay, so now we need acetate on the back of there. I have a piece of that cut just to cover the hourglass. Put some tape around there, good. Sticky stuff. And really, it wouldn't matter on this. It's just I'm doing it kind of tight because I didn't make the acetate huge. that on the front. I already die cut the banner in white and it's going to fit in here after we stamp it and then those little pieces go in there too. And bummer I got those little pieces stuck on my tape. Figures you know when you're making a video everything kind of goes wonky. Okay so now um, we'll just put this foam behind here. 
and then you can fill it up and cover it up. I am going to use this quarter inch score tape to put around. I'm going to put it on the foam just because it's a little bit easier to see. And really, what I did before, I put a little piece on and then because of that curve you're going to wish I knew how to edit videos by the time I get this tape all around here. Because I can cut some of it out. But I'd rather make cards than learn how to edit videos. I'm bad like that. If anybody knows somebody that has a easy tutorial on how to do it, let me know. I'd probably make more videos. <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't want that. <laughs> oh dear. We're getting there. Hang in there. I wasn't going to do this, but somebody asked if I was going to show how to do it. And I thought, oh, I could do it in a couple hours. Ugh. This is only my third start. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be the last. Hopefully, I'm, I'm probably not even on the, in the picture. I forgot to look to keep checking to make sure I was in the picture. See? Ta-da! I made it. Okay, so now, I'm going to stick this thing on here. Am I on the picture? There we are. Hopefully I can get it on there straight without standing right over it. Okay. Press that on there. Oh, I forgot to put score tape between there before I die cut it. Normally I would take this big wide score tape and put it between there. And then I would have to mess with doing this around both of them. Oh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll have to do that later. But you would put these prills in here and then stick your card back on there and card base, I mean. I just used a eight and a half by eleven and I cut it the long way vertically because I like top folding cards. They're easier to take pictures of. So you would glue after you get that filled up, you would glue this to that. Then, I need to make this banner that fits in here that says, For a Wonderful Time. And what I did was I stamped, thank you, up here with my Misty. And what I did for, this, for stamping the banner, I thought I would show you because that kind of can look a little intimidating. I had this one that I cut just to see how it would work, so I kept it and I used it, stuck it in here for a template for my stamping, so I can put that white in there, ink up the stamp, oh my, memento stamp pad got moved, I'll use this. I. I laid it on the banner and then hooked it to the Misty and then curved it a little bit. Kind of messed with it until I got it the right shape. Well, I hope it's the right shape. Not too bad. Okay, so now we've got that. We'll just stick that in there. And then stick these other pieces in there. And I do have those little pieces there too for in there, but I'm not going to mess with those right this minute. 
you have the top and bottom you're going to glue on, whichever direction you like. I guess it goes this way because you need those spindles. Some place for them to hook. And the spindles glue in here, but you're, I'm going to hook those underneath here. And just glue those down. And then stick these back in there. And that's all there was to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.